Every journey, no matter how grand, has to come to an end. And it's a testament to a game if, once the credits have rolled, it leaves you feeling that you just want to fire up the story again. Watching an ending is common amongst video games. I mean, we can probably all recount titles which make up the quagmire of sequel baiting, corny, duff, final brown notes. But now is not the time to recount such trite tales of trash. For today, my oily little children, we're going to look at the video games which delivered on their crescendos. Now, before we start, remember this is a list focusing on the endings of the video games, meaning that the run-up to it doesn't have to be pitch perfect. And on another note, I'm just going to say this. You know Red Dead Redemption? Well, it's not on the list, but only because I've spoken about these last moments more than I've had raw dog sex sessions with your dad. With this in mind, I'm the Southwest Savage Jules from WhatCulture.com here with a list of 10 of the best video game endings. Number 10, Journey. Journey is just simply a beautiful game. Simple, powerful, and innovative in every aspect of its creation. It takes players through a smorgasbord of environments which will, unless your heart is made out of stone, stand a real chance of moving you. The plot is on paper about as thin as my hairline. An unnamed traveller sets on a pilgrimage to reach the top of a glowing mountain. But along the way you'll meet other journeymen and through the power of online gaming venture together, communicating only in musical notes. Which is great because it means that racist or homophobic ranters have to be quite creative. In fact, it's the music which makes this title. As you ascend the final portion of the game after believing yourself to have been frozen to death, the swell of symphonic notes creates an otherworldly experience like no other. A truly powerful moment in gaming. Number 9. Portal 2 The original Portal threw down the gauntlet for other titles, offering up a witty story, challenging puzzles and truly lovable villain. Portal 2 then came along, picked up this metal arm sleeve, deemed it nowhere near heavy or gaudy enough and replaced it with Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. Tortured metaphors are the writing of Portal 2 makes my heart ache with how charming it is. The content overall is funnier and the story deeper. We learn more about GLaDOS and the hilarious Cave Johnson and are introduced to the idiotic Wheatley who becomes our rival throughout the narrative. The ending of this game, however, is nearly perfect, allowing us to shoot a portal onto the surface of the moon itself. It's hilarious, makes the player feel smart for thinking of it and just leaves you with the impression that this game is goddamn outstanding. Number 8. Braid. Allow me, if you will, to channel Anita Sarkeesian for a moment. <clears throat> the damsel in distress trope is a mainstay in popular fiction, and is especially popular amongst video games. Now where's my money? <laughs> See, that's funny because she took a load of money and has done nothing with it. Anyway, Braid takes this device and subverts it in a very clever fashion, by making us believe that this plotline is just a melancholy Mario clone with some time manipulation thrown in. However, during the final stage, Tim follows the princess who has just escaped from the monster. She helps him along the way, unsetting some potentially dangerous traps. But in a brilliant twist, it's revealed that the stage was being played backwards. Played forward, it's apparent that the princess is running away from Tim, setting traps to halt his pursuit. And as she jumps into the arms of the man we thought was the monster, we realise that Tim was the monster all along. Deep stuff. Number 7. Halo Combat Evolved to show that not all endings need to be monolithic in terms of emotion or depth, Halo Combat Evolved offered players one of the most exhilarating ends to a video game as they try to escape the collapsing titular superstructure in the driving seat of the ever-slippery Warthog. To get to this driving section, players have to go through a mountain of Covenant and Flood hordes in a level which seems purpose designed to push gamers to their limits. But once you buckle up and put the pedal down, it's an adrenaline fueled sprint to the finish. Weaving through structures and flying over jumps means that by the end of this mad dash you're left with frayed nerves scorch retinas and a heart rate that doctors would label holy shit, he's having a heart attack number six the walking dead Choice and Consequence. No, not just the names of my testicles, but the backbone of Telltale's The Walking Dead video game. Throughout the episodic series, you'll make tons of little choices that end up affecting a lot more than just a line of dialogue. The relationship between Clem and Lee is a slow burner, but by the end of their run together, you'll feel these two share a real and more importantly, believable familial bond. Then it happens. Lee is turned into Monster Munch and the poor little cap-happy kid has to make the awful choice. Leave your pseudo-father to turn or put a bullet into his skull. The irony is not lost on the fact that Lee is the person to teach Clem to use a gun in the first place, nor is the impact when you finally make your choice. It's a beautifully sad ending to a really compelling narrative, and marks significant character development for Clem as she embarks on her next journey alone. Number 5. Doom Okay, okay, I know I'm meant to be looking for games with super deep narratives and sh** but you get to fight a giant brain spider and then blast off its cortex with a big f***ing gun! Come on, what more do you want from an end of a game? Number 4. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater 
Oh boy was the end of this serpent based story intense. Though boss and snake have faced off many times throughout the game, snake is just unable to kill the boss. Not just because she's a stronger warrior, but because he loves and respects her. However, he knows that if he lets her live this time, the Soviets will declare war on the United States. Their final battle takes place in a field of white flowers where Snake Eater quietly begins to play, and it complements this scene perfectly. Any other day, Snake would die for the boss, but here, she has to die for him. Then Snake learns that the boss never betrayed her country. She allowed herself to be killed by Snake to spare the world from nuclear war. Later, he visits his hero's unmarked grave and sheds a manly tear. In this moment, Big Boss silently swears off his allegiance to any government, and the infamous terrorist is born. Number three, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Okay, so explaining The Witcher 3's plot in full will be like me beating you to death with an encyclopedia and then rubbing my dick all in what remains of your face, in that there's a lot of information and I'd be a bad person for doing it. What I can say is that if you can wrap your head around the twisting narrative in multiple dimensions, you'll find that The Witcher 3 offers some of the most interesting and well-developed characters in gaming. The culmination of these events leads to three distinct endings, which sounds like I'm cheating a little on this list, but bear with me, as each of these epilogues contains so much emotional impact that I actively encourage you to see them all. Usually such multiple choice endings are weak source and only really encourage that one of them is canonical, but with The Witcher 3 I honestly felt that each were viable and well executed. Just another feature which makes this title exceptionally well produced. Number 2, The Last of Us. Yeah, that's right, it's not number 1, so to all of you trying to preempt me in the comments with stuff like, Last of Us OBS number 1, where well, you can suck my greasy pole. That being said, this ending knocked gamers for sixes as it combined everything that made this game so special. A challenging final firefight, an emotional confrontation with a Southwest Savage approved resolution, and pitch perfect dialogue which makes you scream at the TV, MORE! FEED ME MORE! And it's all down to the pause. That brief moment of silence between Ellie asking Joel of what he's telling her is really the truth. This is the power of well-produced writing, as it makes us question whether she knows what's really going on and is just buying into Joel's desire for them to go on together, or whether she is giving him a chance to come clean. Either way, it's damn powerful material. And number one, Mass Effect 2. The suicide mission, the culmination of all your hard work through Mass Effect 2. All the character building missions, the optional side quests, and the desire to put an end to the collector threat all come to a head here. And if you fuck it up, then the game will truly let you know about it. Thankfully, the mission itself stands up to the lofty premise it's been building for the last 30 or so hours, as constant waves of enemies and ever-switching style of play and fear of running out of resources means that you're constantly on the back foot. It's genuinely exciting to walk your squad through this Ice Cube in Hell mission and you feel like an ultimate badass for pulling it off. The final dialogue between you and the elusive man is the icing on the cake, giving you the option to tell him to shove his crooked intentions further up his ass than a dragon's tooth. And that's our list! Got any other finales that you fawned over? Well, let let us know about them in the comments section below. And if you want to come give me a happy ending, you can do so on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero. If you enjoyed the video, then like, share, and subscribe for more. I've been Jules of WhatCulture.com, and I'll speak to you soon.